everybody. My name's Jessica Porter, and welcome to the first episode of Superpowers 101, where I'll be showing you how to get the most out of your superpowers without breaking the bank. Today, we'll be covering the basic steps on your journey to becoming the ultimate killing machine. So if you're ready to truly start enjoying your newfound superpowers, you've come to the right place. The skill level of today's lesson is beginner. Once you realize that you have superpowers, you will undoubtedly be overwhelmed by all the possibilities in front of you. Should I be good? Will I be evil? Should I just start killing people right away? Should I focus on getting rich? This is the point where you're gonna wanna take a step back. And remember these five simple rules. Rule number one, don't get caught. I'll be the first to admit that I didn't follow this rule in the beginning. I remember thinking things like, go ahead, call the police, I'll kill them too. Or, I don't care how many witnesses I leave behind. I want everybody to know about me. I cannot stress this enough. You do not want to be famous. At least not right away. Once everybody knows about you, you'll be dealing with police, FBI, SWAT teams, the military. Sure, you get to kill scores of people, but your future options, they're gonna be severely limited. You'll have to start thinking about a name, a costume, an agenda, catchphrases. You get my point. Trust me when I tell you, you're better off evolving at your own pace. So don't get caught. Rule number two, plan ahead. One of the first things you'll notice when you have superpowers is how unbelievably easy it is to kill people. There was this one time when I killed 314 people in six minutes. Now, for as much fun as that was, and it was fun, I spent weeks cleaning up the mess. That was time I could have spent killing and torturing more people. So when you do decide to kill somebody, take a few moments to think about what you're doing. So, if you decide to kill someone in a crowded location, always make sure to know where the exits are. That way, you can make an easy escape. If there's going to be a lot of witnesses, it goes without saying, you're gonna have to kill them too. Decide ahead of time if you're gonna go ahead and kill them all at the scene, or wait till a later date and then kill them all individually. If you decide to kill them later, make sure you gather all the relevant contact information from every witness, so it's easy to find them when the time comes. Names, addresses, phone numbers, emails, heck, you may even want to friend them on Facebook. Just remember, a well-prepared killing machine is a happy killing machine. Rule number three, dress appropriately. Seeing as how superpowers are only ever granted to attractive women, this rule should come naturally. You don't have to put together some ridiculous costume or anything stupid like that. Just remember to wear clothes that instill confidence in yourself. Tops should always accentuate the twins. Remember, Superheroines are never flat chested. Pants should always be form fitting, but not uncomfortably tight. Baggy pants, on the other hand, run the risk of getting caught on things. Tights and stockings, well, they tear much too easily, and they should only be worn if you plan on seducing your victim first. Always wear high heels. They not only make your legs look longer, but high heels automatically give you a sexy and somewhat evil stride. Fingerless gloves are a nice touch. They let your victims know that you mean business. Not only are they fashionable, but they also keep your adorable little hands clean from brains, blood, and various other bodily fluids. Providing your victims with pleasant imagery before killing them is a thoughtful gesture, so always dress accordingly. Rule number four, you decide who lives and who dies. There are over seven billion people on the planet and the only reason they exist is either A, you decide to let them live or B, 
you simply haven't gotten around to killing them yet. Killing random people is always great fun. There's nothing like hearing your anonymous victims say things like, why me, or what did I do to deserve this? But for as much fun as destroying a stranger can be, it's always much more satisfying when you're killing someone that you've decided needs to die. That next door neighbor of yours, whose nasty ads Frankenstein vanity dog never stops barking. Elected officials who still believe that pot is more dangerous than alcohol. Talentless actors who star in terribly written mommy porn movies about sparkly vampires. Even worthless, famous for nothing, brain dead, bearded reality TV stars who do nothing but complain about stupid bullshit. Talking about you, Kardashians. Nobody is beyond your reach. You're thousands of times stronger than anybody on the planet. So never sell yourself short. Rule number five, have fun. Somebody once said, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, I'm here to tell you, fuck that bullshit. Seriously, the world is yours now. You can do whatever you want. You can kill whoever you want. Anything you want is yours for the taking. There are an infinite number of ways to kill and torture people. So don't be afraid to get creative. You can use everyday household objects, or cars, or skyscrapers. Remember, take the time to toy with your victims. Tell them that you're gonna kill their families when you're done with them. Make them watch you kill their spouses. Defame your victims on Twitter before killing them. Remember, creativity is your friend. I promise you that following these five basic rules will provide you with a solid foundation for your future as a superpowered sociopathic killing machine. Be sure to tune in next time when I'll be discussing the essential techniques for destroying your victims both mentally and physically. And if you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future tutorials, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. If you'd like to learn even more about getting the most out of your superpowers, go ahead and visit me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. You can find the links in the description below. Until next time, I'm Jessica Porter, reminding you that knowledge is power and power is fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.